today i am discussing about the prospect of renewable energy and impact of renewable energy sources renewable sources are those resources which can be used to produce energy again and again like solar energy geothermal energy tidal energy wind energy etc non renewable energy sources cannot be replaced once they are be used that is coal oil gas etc these energy resources like coal oil gas etc are limited and would be exhausted within a certain period of time so the renewable energy sources are mostly used in futures renewable energy sources include bo both direct solar radiation intercepted by the collectors that is solar flat plate collectors thermal cell etc and indirect solar energy such as wind hydro power ocean energy and biomass resources that can be managed in a sustainable manner geothermal is considered renewable energy because the source is unlimited now different types of advantages of renewable energy sources these energy sources reduce in nature and are inexhaustible next advantage the power plant using renewable source of energy do not have any fuel cost and hence their running cost is negligible next advantage as renewables have low energy density there is more or less no pollution in this type of energy sources next point these energy sources can help to save foreign exchange and generate local empl employment next for problem next point these are more site specific and are employed for local processing and applications only and their economics and technology losses of transmission and distribution being nil next advantage since conversion technology tends to be flexible and modular renewable energy can be usually be rapidly deployed so these are the advantages of renewable energy sources some now the different types of renewable energy sources are we know that already know that like the first one is the solar energy the earth receives the energy from sun is from of electromagnetic radiation solar energy is cheap and free from pollution in india most part receives 4 to 7 kilo watt hour of solar radiation per square meter per day india receives solar energy equivalent to more than 5000 trillion kilowatt hour per year which is far more than that its total annual consumption though the energy density is low and availability is not continuous it has now become possible to harness this energy available very reliably to many purposes by converting it into heat and direct generation of electricity solar energy can be used in following cases like convert the solar energy into electricity convert the solar energy into thermal energy photosynthesis etc the main applications of solar energies are heating of building cooling of building ac and refrigerations solar cooker solar water heater solar air, air heaters solar water pumping system etc now in case of bio, biogas or biomass biogas plant is a device for conversion of organic materials in particular dung into into methane gas but achieved by subjecting to the material is very difficult the main source of production is the biogas is the cattle dung wastage vegetables etc in rural area biogas has many applications such, such as cooking lighting etc the biogas obtained from cattle dung 
is about 55 to 60 percent and carbon dioxide about 45 to 40 percent and negligible amount of H2S and hydrogen etc. However, with night soil of methane content may increase to 60%, CO2 34%, H2S 0.6% and other gases 0.4%. So biogas is another alternative source of energy. Now the ocean energy or tidal energy. The first potential of ener energy in the seas and ocean which convert about three, three, three fourth of, of our plant, planet can make significant contribution to meet our energy requirement. Now in case of geothermal energy, the geothermal energy is another energy source that can be collected from that can be generated power of huge amount of powers by it geothermal energy is the natural heat generated from within the earth the steam and hot water comes naturally to the surface of the earth at some locations the main source of geothermal energy is magma the extraction of heat from earth interior needs to natural or artificial heat exchanger water is injected by injection by injection well into hot dry rock inside the earth to extract the hot water and steam from produce from production wall the water injected into the walls act as a heat collecting and heat transporting medium now wind energy wind are caused by pre pressure gradient the kinetic energy of the wind can be changed into the mechanical or electrical energy. The kinetic energy is given by half into A into rho into VQ where V is the wind velocity, rho is the density of the air, therefore the power in wind proportional to the Q of the wind speed. So wind energy is another source of energy. So these are the renewable energy source in our countries. Now the usefulness of renewable energy source. Any analysis of the usefulness of renewable energy source is developing con the developing the countries must be considered the following basic factors. First one, the renewable energy resources of conversion systems are technically capable of meeting many of the power and fuel need to modern technology and civilization from small scale and large scale also next point all the renewable energy in a renewable technologies are economically competitive with fossil fuel in their ability to provide the electricity mechanical power thermal energy and the liquid fuels such technologies has not yet been deployed internationally and the primary factor the further development are needed for the generate this electricity generate the powers so these are the usefulness of renewable energy now the when an energy is called the renewable when its source cannot be run out like sun etc it can easy easily it can easy to replace next when their source are carbon neutral that means do not produce carbon and carbon related different types of gases and when they do not pollute the environment so then we can consider this type of energy sources are renewable energy source now the impact of renewable energy generation of environment so these are the vital factors now impact of solar energy generation solar photovoltaic modules post disposal disposal problems owing to the presence of arsenic and cadmium next point the total system compressing solar power generation with uh, generate the several pollutions next solar Reflections cause hazard from the from our human eyes. Next, impact of the wind 
impact of the wind energy generation on environment the development of wind frames or towers in forest area needs cutting the trees leading to environmental degradation or in other area a large area are required to install the wind frame for wind power generation next next point the wind energy systems are noisy in operations therefore environment is suffered with the help of the with, with the sound pollutions next interference of large wind turbine with the television signals etc now the impact of the biomass or biogas on environment domestic use of biomass in rural areas creates air pollution next the production of biomass on large scale and its use the soil pollution and loss of the condition of the soil next a large scale energy energy crop pollution in water due to the use of the biomass next the impact of geothermal energy on environment gases escape into atmosphere and drop down the acid rains next the soil and waters are polluted by chemicals like sulfate etc next owing the discharge of waste hot water rivers and sea are infected and the pollutions are occurs in seas and other areas next the another problem is blow down the centrifugal separation cause the noisy in pollutions in this type of systems